Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the last Cassini project of this year. Yay! Yay, 2019. Oh, no. Wait. That's what year it is, right? Kidding. This week. This week. Next week, who knows what year it will be. Now with this crew. Um, previously, our crew ran into a certain Mr. Mud, who brought triples on board and somehow managed to cause the power to break and got naked and there was all kinds of crazy shit that uh you can just go watch that episode because wow i mean wow to, to be fair him getting naked wasn't his fault and it's so scarred. He, was, he was following orders and it's so scarred sarah that uh, she couldn't be here tonight so <laughs> <laughs> did, did she message y'all or yes, yeah yes. yeah oh, okay just a scroll up earlier in the main chat. Yeah. And so we're just going to get right into it then. Um, so where we left off. So, Steph, you have just shoved uh, mud into the brig. Newly clothed, I assume. Yes, yes, with the new... He's wearing, you know, prisoner outfit. As you can see. Uh, I'm assuming we can't do force fields because we have no power. You've got, like, an enlisted security person there holding a phaser rifle. All right. I'm just going to look at mud. Kind of cross my arms. Before I leave, I'm going to have one last chance to tell me anything about the cargo you may or may not have been carrying. It was just salvage. It was all perfectly legal. Salvage can sometimes have surprises. Uh, apparently, because I'm very surprised at this treatment. You can file a report with Starfleet Command once everything is dealt. He just kind of sits there kind of with like this look on his face. Like he's not sure what he could say here that wouldn't dig him deeper. He could try saying nothing. <laughs> Which is apparently what he's chosen. Do you have Anything in your logs that says where you acquired any of this self? Well, I found it off of a Torellian freighter. It was falling apart. A Torellian freighter had tribbles and an Iconian artifact? I didn't know it was Iconian. I don't even think they did. Can I incite him? Go for it. Uh, insight security or insight command? Uh, insight security, this is going to be opposed with his present security. Oh, we have no momentum. Ooh. And you need to beat two. Oh. Uh, does my disarming nature do anything for this? <laughs> oh. They ask after threatening him. Yeah, that's not going to work this time. Why did I get rid of interrogation? Seems um, like a good idea at the time. Yeah, but I'm. Do I have a focus? I would. I'll allow your intelligence ops. I also got two. All right, so that's technically a push. Uh, goes to stuff. Yeah, it goes to stuff. I mean, if I need to succeed at a cost or something. Yeah, I'm going to say this will end up being a success at a cost on a push. And he goes... Okay. You're able to kind of... He's being honest about all of this. 
But you don't know if that means he's excluding something or not. All right. If I find anything I shouldn't find, like more trouble, I'm going to have to come back and have another conversation with you. And we both know it won't go well. Oh, but... Commander, there's no need for this hostility. I'm not being hostile. I'm just being honest. Um, it's at that moment that you actually have another character walk in. Um, uh, Yeoman Silas actually walks in. So, uh, is he, uh, causing you, uh, uh, the usual migraines that come with dealing with a member of the Mud family? I wouldn't say a migraine. Just the, the, the usual... Mud issues? I suppose. Mm. Lovely. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, I was going to come down here for a deposition. Figured I should uh, at least get some sort of report to the captain. With all the comms are down, I'm at least hand deliver one to him. Well, I believe that Lieutenant... Talus is on a security sweep of Captain Mud's vessel at the moment. That'll be fun. And at this moment, we're actually going to switch scenes again uh, down into the armory section of the shuttle bay where the Doctor and Kagon are. Uh, Double checking the results of beaming all the tribbles into space. Rip, wharf, <laughs> press mm. F and chat. Press F to pay respects. Oh no, interrupt on move. <laughs> this what? What? <laughs> Interrupt a move. It's the, you know, when you're in the middle of interaction, but you move and then it, it, it disables. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, lo it looks like on your preliminary report that all the triple life sign readings you got have been beamed into space, wharf included. <sighs> Are you all right, Lieutenant Commander? Klingons and Tribbles are natural enemies, but Worf was the one Tribble who seemed okay with me. I may never find another like him. Perhaps. Perhaps not. You won't know unless you try. Or look. Well, the last... The last attempt involved fire-breathing Epos, and I don't think we want to subject anyone to that again. Flame on! I don't know. They were sort of adorable, if deadly. At least they would have made a useful guard dog. If they could be trained. The fact that they were alone on that vessel seems to, would imply that they cannot. Mm. Uh, and it's at this moment the door opens and uh, Counselor Korea rolls in and yells Kagon! What? You said you got all the tribbles off the ship, right? And she's reeling towards yes. you. Yes. She goes, then explain these. And she holds up two tribbles. This one was in my chair in my office. I ran over this one on my way down here. Is it dead? No! They're actually screaming. Then run over it again. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander. 
Uh, do I have a medical tricorder that I can just do a quick scan of the run over one on? I'm assuming you ha would have one on you. I, I'd like to scan it. Go ahead, scan it. Recent security. Difficulty one. Reason security for a medical scan? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Reasons medical. Sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> and I'm assuming xenobiology would apply here. Yeah. All right. The triple isn't giving off any life readings, but it's very obviously alive. What? Where did you find this Tribble? Down the corridor! Oh, that's not good. Interesting, but not good. Uh, is there a way to determine why I'm not reading any life signs? Ooh, I would suppose that this would probably... Fall under. Uh, guess this. Trying to figure out what mechanic we would actually use this would qualify as a like a hypothesis system. Check its. Uh, check its quantum signature. It may not be entirely in this universe. Okay, that would just be a straight roll if you want to do that. I'll do that. Okay, reason science. Uh, difficulty two because you're doing a quantum scan. All right. Um, can I assist? You can. And do any of my focuses apply here? Do you have a quantum physics focus? Um, I might actually. Hang on. Uh, I'm assuming it would be reason no, science for me as well. I don't. Yeah, it's reason science for you as well. Okay. All right. I'm just going to roll straight up. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Nope, don't even bother rolling. Yep, don't no. even bother rolling. No, I know, I, I didn't roll. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're not picking up this triple at all on your tricorder. Like, you read that there is a physical object here, but besides that, you're getting no readings from it. Ghost travel. This object does not read as a triple. Curious. Well, it's alive, but our scanners aren't picking it up. That is worrying. Can I do a quick scan on the other one to see if it does the if it's the exact same thing? Uh, I'm not going to have you roll for it. I'm going to say that you do this and you get the exact same readings. Uh, there one moment, there are cats destroying something behind me. So exactly like what's happening in the game. <laughs> Basically. So just to like to to just say this out right. The triples are physically present. They have matter. They're obviously alive. They're, you know, breathing, chirping, getting freaked out by Kagon. They exist. These are obviously triples, but they have no life form readings. Are they popping out other triples? Well, not at this moment, but it's safe to assume that they have been, since these two were found on two different decks. Well, time to burn the ship down. <laughs> It was a good campaign while it lasted, y'all. Yep. <laughs> Everyone into the Sorry boat to the fly. Line. Fly away. You set the self-destruct. It's over. <laughs> Sorry about that. A cat got stuck behind the washing machine. Fantastic. As I was uh, explaining, uh, the readings basically say this this triple is, exists, but there's no life form readings. And you're able to, and you're all, and you're able to physically handle them. Yeah, they, they because they, they, they won't come near Kagon, I'm sure. Yeah, I so said they're soft. And they do triple things. They eat, they poop, they reproduce wildly.
Doctor, I suggest we throw them in the old replicator and have them trans have their have their matter recycled. I'm so sorry, what was that? Another cat behind the washing machine? It's still stuck. We had to pull it out from behind the wall. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. She's getting her now. Um, I, was, uh, I was saying, Doctor, I suggest we place them in the replicator and have them recycled. Korea sits up and just goes, okay, that solves these two, but if these two were still running them up the ship, how many more are there, probably? Uh, can I do a quick medical calculation about how fast they reproduce and how many there might be by now? Absolutely. Uh, what would I roll? <laughs> Reason, medicine, difficulty three, because you're doing the math in your head. Okay. Uh, xenobiology, would that apply? Yeah. Okay, um, I will, wait, do I have a, uh, what is the thing? I will go ahead and I will use bold and so I can get a, um, so I can get an extra dice. All right. All right, so that's an extra. And task roll. Oh, hello. Holy <laughs> shit. So that's two momentum gained. Uh, so triples typically produce a litter of 10 every 12 hours. These ones probably came from the same litter, which likely was born in the last, you know, hour or so. Okay. How however, the fact that they're not showing up on uh, scans means that they've probably been tampered with, and you can't be sure this is... Correct, but that means that there's at least eight other Tribbles running amok on the ship. Well, uh, Lieutenant Commander, there would be eight others, and as much as I am of the mind of letting creatures live, by the time we find all of these other eight, there might be even more. So your idea for the replicator while... Wait, do the replicators even work right now? <laughs> They're out of power, so no! <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't un we can't get rid of them, so we might as well have a room set by it so they can be tossed in there. I warn you, the room will fill fast. And well, we will, need, so we will need to calibrate our tricorders to be able to detect them. That's going to be interesting to do. And should should we like warn the rest of the crew that this is happening? Yes, yes, we should. The captain's not going to be happy. I don't think anyone's going to be happy with this. Don't let him in my medical bay when you tell him. I'd rather not lose any more monitors. They, they already don't work. Yes, but he can still break them. Um, is uh, So what would we need to do in order to get the tricorders to be able to detect them? Well, you're going to have to figure that out, aren't you? Yeah, so how would we do that? Come up with a plan. Well, it's a good <laughs> thing we have some tribbles. Yeah, so, okay, so I guess we would start with... Are they... Hmm... So just to be clear, you're jumping straight into the sciencing and not warning the rest of the crew. Oh, well, no, never mind. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm assuming we have one of the person-to-person -person communicators. Yeah. Uh, and all of the names just left my head. <laughs> Every single character's names, which you have on the sidebar. Yep, I'm just, I'm just now looking at them. <laughs> Uh, There's a natural 20 people. <laughs> uh, Doctor uh, for us to Captain Harrison. Cap Harrison here. 
Doctor, tell me some good news, please. I'm not sure I have any to give you. I have probably more bad news to give you. All right. There are eight tribbles running amok on the ship that we can't detect with scanning. So there are more tribbles, aside from the tribbles we just beamed off. And now we have tribbles that we can't scan at all. Well, we have two of them. Uh, our, our counselor ran over one. Unfortunately, it still lives. Kagon, do you think you can um, fashion away to detect these things on our tricorders? I will begin working on such a method immediately, Captain. If not, Doctor, I want you to prepare for possible evacuation. Uh, of course, Captain. If that's what you think would be best. I don't. We don't need another Cabot situation. All right. I mean, I have to tell the commander this. All right. Uh, well, that will be an enjoyable conversation for you. Mm-hmm. Bridge out. Keep me keep me posted. Of course. And then we're gonna switch over to the captain informing the commander. In front of Mud. Good. Harris. I'm still talking to Mud. Harris and Nicotheris? Yes, Captain. Two things. One, apparently we now have triples on board that cannot be detected by tricorders. Wonderful. Two. I need you to I need you to get find out exactly where those triples came from. And also to possibly prepare the ship for evacuation if, if we cannot if we cannot track down every last triple on board. Captain Mud has been not so forth. Would you like me to come down there? That, that, that's totally unnecessary, Captain. I, I swear. Considering you brought aboard a biological life form that threatens the safety of my ship, it might very well be sit, be necessary. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, I'm going to jail for this. Um, I'll, I'll tell you everything I know about the Tribbles. Do not leave a single detail out. I was, I'll, I'll have the commander take it from here. Look, Harrison out. And you just, you just see that mud just kind of uh, does. It's like swallowing his pride. Uh, so, or during our last encounter, I was, um, I was kind of informed about your captain's uh, nature ahead of time. By whom? Uh, uh, I don't know. It was an anonymous tip. The really? Thing about, working, thing about working with the hand is you never know where all the information comes from. He was very good at, at compartmentalizing it. Um, what did this Advanced information, say. That your captain uh, had some unique genetic modifications that could be useful. Useful? Well, I, uh, uh, it, it's a tricky business. I'm not a biologist. They tend to be better with androids and the like. But I did want to see what they would do, so... I, you know wanna... what we did to the hand, right, Mud? And that's why I'm telling you this, so that you don't do that to me. All right, keep talking. So I had a, a, a scanner that was running on passive mode that managed to sample some of his DNA. Mm -hmm. And I decided to test it on one of the tribbles. You genetically augmented a triple? Yes. And you just oh. see Silas lean over and goes, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't the only reason we can detect the captain because we have his genetic structure on file? Yeah. 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 Wait, I'm blind to sensors? It's how it worked it in on Enterprise. They had problems tracking augments. Yeah, that was Enterprise, though. <laughs> Holy 
Holy shit, I didn't know that. Uh, um, okay. So not only did you release biological weapons in the form of fauna onto our ship, you released enhanced biological weaponry. Technically, I'm you tested. released them. I released them. You did take them off my person. They were contained. Mud, I'm going to say this. Mud, I'm going to say this once and only once. Are you aware of how Tribbles are? Well, I didn't feed it. Did you have a crumb in your pocket? No. It must have eaten one that got out. Silas so just goes, Commander, has anyone checked the hydroponics bay? Oh, no. Oh. That. Oh. Probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Uh, Sil Silas to, uh, uh, it, he just, like, security, anyone, uh, can we have someone please check the hydroponics bay? And the security response, uh, yeah, we'll send someone down immediately. You wait send a few minutes. Send a team. <laughs> yeah. They're sending one person for now. Probably think they can shoot, if there's only eight troubles, I can probably shoot them all. It's never just eight. Yeah, it's never just eight. Which is what happens next is that you get a response from this like crewman who responds, uh 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 security to Commander Catharis, there's a lot more than eight triples in here. Define a lot more. Uh I just opened the door and triples poured out. Seal off the d I'm already on it! Catharis to Captain Harrison. Harrison here? Is it? Has this, this been an open channel? You know, because you closed it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Harrison here? Tribbles got into the hydroponics. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hail, um, hail Satyrians ahead and put him on, put him on a, a three-way call. Sahen here. Sahen, we have a we have an additional triple problem. Uh, how additional? What is it possible for you to create a warp plasma bomb? Uh, no, because we have no warp plasma at the moment. You know, we have to vent that when power goes out. Lovely. All right. Is it is it possible to vent an entire deck? Uh, if With you the give power. Me, like, if you give me half an hour, I'll have ox power back on. And we may not have a ship in half an hour. Yeah. We're looking oh, at... Okay. I don't know if you were told this. We are looking at a cabin situation. Fantastic. Uh, I I can't really help you here. Maybe get the science teams on it. Seal, enge seal engineering. Uh, I'll do what I can. Captain. Commander. What about a baryon sweep? This is something we can reproduce while the power is out. Uh, can yeah. I... Hmm? It's not even something you can produce inside the ship. <laughs> we could probably isolate it to certain decks. Well, no, because remember, the Enterprise had to go to a facility that would perform it on it. Otherwise, they could just do it in space. Hmm. Katharis, what did Munt say about the Tribbles? Continue your talking. Oh! Mm, they're genetically augmented Tribbles. That's a fun new... Okay. Where did Mud get the expertise to get into genetic engineering? That's an excellent question. Apparently. Is this an open channel that the doctor yes, can hear? it is now. Yeah, it <laughs> Apparently is now. any idiot can... It can perform genetic engineering on Tribbles. To be fair, uh, I only... It was my first foray. Cut me some slack. 
I would yeah. very much like to know where he okay, got boomer. any information on any of this. Oh, and I will what, inform you later. And what exactly did he do to the Tribbles? Um, it appears he had a little bit of a tip-off. You're going to have to be more specific there, Commander. The hand gave him some illicit information regarding your nature. These Tribbles have my genetic material? Yeah. Can that's we just swap them all like... in? Oh, the holodeck is Commander, unavailable hey, right now. That, that might Doctor? give us at least a means to scan for them. Is it possible, yeah, to correlate the triples in my genetic um, imprint? Uh, is that possible? Do I it's need to roll possible. for that? I'm going to have you roll for it. It's a possibility. You need roll to see how well this is going to work out. Okay. Also, um, Commander Catharis, we're going to be adding illegal genetic modification to the list of Mud's charges. Oh, I've already informed Captain Mud. Excellent. Uh, for Ask, I need to roll Reason Medicine, difficulty four. Take Ooh. all the momentum. And I would like to assist. You absolutely may. You might have to give him a threat just for two days. Yeah, I think I'm going to do bold to give you a threat so I can get uh, a reroll. Okay. Wait, does bold let me reroll? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just making sure. It's the dangerous version of cautious. And then okay. You, and use another two momentum for an extra dice if you want that. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's then, cautious after dark. Uh. Xenobiology would apply here? Yes. All right. Okay, here we go. And am I rolling, for my assist, am I rolling reason medicine or reason this science? Is, this is reason medicine. Okay. Very, yes, yes, yes! Seven. <laughs> Seven out of four, so that's three momentum. You can do this. However, if there's been any alterations to the Tribble's genetic code beyond what Mud has revealed, there's going to be a variation in it, and you might not get all of them. Mm -hmm. So you better make sure that you have all the information you need. Um, Commander Catharis? Yes, Doctor. Um... Can I come join you in the uh, brig to speak with Mr. Mud? Absolutely. I'm going to head down as well. Captain, oh, good. <laughs> before you get here, I have one quick question. I'm all ears. Can I can what you what? What was that? Yeah. Can I punch him? We'll talk like, about that. I know I shouldn't, but God, I really want... We'll talk about that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, actually, Captain, as... And Dr. Rask. So, Captain, as you walk onto the into the turbo lift and the door closes, a triple falls on your head. Wait, the turbo lifts are working? I assume I have to take the Jeffrey tube. Oh, yeah, I guess you would be walking into Jefferson. Either way, a triple falls on your head. Oh, no. Uh, and Barras, you step on one as you walk out, out of, into the hallway, and you see a bunch of them are out there, too, now. Well, they're adorable, but... Kagon growls and reaches for a mechleth. Can you at uh, least wait until <laughs> I'm around the corner so I don't have to see it? <laughs> The, the captain would have, would have taken a type two as he was leaving, just in case he had to shoot his way through some triples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you both are. There we go. You both arrive down at it in the brig. Are there triples here? Uh, you've ran into triples at various corridors. They're not everywhere throughout the ship so far, thank God, but they're in a number of places. We have a very fuzzy ticking clock. Mm-hmm. Oh. Captain! Commander, yeoman, doctor, captain. 
Doctor, Hello, Captain. Captain, Colonel, Colonel, Doctor, Doctor. Doctor. And how Lieutenant... are you, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Talis is doing a sweep of Mister Mud's ship, and that means she's currently on board. Captain Mud, I'd like to know where all of your notes on your genetic modifications to the triples are located. You assume I keep notes. Did you seriously not keep notes? It's not good to leave physical evidence lying around. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a pad and just shove it in his hands. I need you to write jot down everything you did to those tribbles immediately. Oh, where it's possible we're all going to die. Uh, he takes the pad, he writes it down, he goes. So I I I replicated some genetic material from base sequences based off of what I took from scans of you. And he draws it out and goes, uh, and besides that, the only other thing I could think that could happen was there was an ion storm we passed through. Maybe one or two of them got a little irradiated. I don't exactly, I'm not exactly made of Hyronolin. Or their mirror universe triples, because why the fuck not? <laughs> oh, this is that, great. That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> the doctor has a hand partially covering his eyes as he's watching Mud type this out. With, with, with this ship, it's probably, to be honest, it probably is mirror universe dribbles. dribbles. <laughs> or, well, you I... know, alternate universe where one of them is actually Ted. <laughs> you can't blame him for everything. What I'm... Can't Tebbles. What I'm the most concerned about, though, is... How the hand or whoever the hand was dealing with got this information about you and was so liberal about sharing it. I have some theories, but I'm not going to discuss them in front of Captain Mud. Now, Mr. Mud, is this everything? Absolutely everything. Yes, yes, it is absolutely everything. Inside check. Okay. Insight security. I will trust a, trust a mud as far as I can throw him. <laughs> I'm going to give you a die for... I'll give you a moment for cautious. Okay. Let's see. Mm, I assume I have no focuses that apply. Looking intelligence uh, operative, maybe? Mm, let me see. You gave it to me for intelligence off, so... Yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay. Insight security. Let me roll that one. Two. Okay. Good. Got your momentum back. Uh, <laughs> he is uh, absolutely telling you the truth. He looks absolutely shit face terrified and does not want the ship to blow up because of Tribbles while he's on board it. Captain's gonna nod. Looks like that's everything then. You should be aware maybe there might have been some. I suppose the best word I can use is funky interactions because of the Iconian stuff. Or the Ion Storm. Or the Ion Storm. I will do my best to work all of that into the... everything. <laughs> You're just seeing the, the brain behind Verask melt as he's trying to calculate this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. I would like to try and work this out. Alright, so Vrask, you're gonna go back to working with Kagon down in the armory, where you've got like a all your stuff is set up currently. Yep. Yeah. Crew who's here? Plans. What can we do to slow down the triples while the science people are working? Pretty much. Kill them. Yeah, pretty much. You have without main or your choice is basically send all the security people out with phaser rifles, basically. Yeah, I'm just basically going to the armory and handing out type 3s. <laughs> okay. Do we have a flamethrower? No, because you haven't grinded your Romulan reputation for that. Damn it! <laughs> okay, and what proceeds next is kind of a repeat of the scene from the, the latest short treks where the crew is shooting down the tribbles. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not stunning them. <laughs> this is no, set no. to vaporize. <laughs> They're set to vaporize, but there's more than they can vaporize. 
And in this case, it's instead of Johnny Apple, Appleseed playing, it's praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Oh my God. I was going to say the Benny Hill theme, but that's also very good. <laughs> Either that or... This yeah. crew, maybe the Benny Hill theme would be better. Or the opening the Doom. That will be towards the end of the episode. If we have to... <laughs> so yeah, we're basically trying to slow the tide. Yeah, you, there's a lot of red shirts and the Makos just like gunning down like walls of dribbles. Please, some, please tell me somebody brought some grenades. <laughs> well, it, they would be in the armory, so yes. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually going to have to make a roll for the Centurion right now. We believe in you, Sahan! All right. Sahan gets on the line and goes, Captain, auxiliary power is coming online now. And the lights turn back on. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Activate force fields. I want every single deck with triples on it cord enough. Mm -hmm. Uh, what decks would those be, sir? We'll They're... find out later. <laughs> so, lock off all the decks with all the force fields. Got it. Basically, uh, yeah. um, I want every single deck sealed off. Nothing nothing triple related getting through. Uh, okay, sir. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll come. Cut them off and clear them as we go. Alright, so literally, force fields go up on every section of every corridor. Not every Not section, everyone. mostly just every every, um, every section that goes from, from from deck to deck. So every section of every corridor, because there's Jeffrey's cubes, tubes on every section and every corridor that goes to every deck. All the, all the vertical partitions. Okay, all the vertical partitions. Yeah. Not, right. not to hail somebody if they want to get through, but other than that, yeah. Okay. Um, we're actually going to cut to the bridge really fast. Uh... Which is where uh, Graz is, and I'm assuming the captain is back up the way. Yeah, I need another power pack. There's too many of them. <laughs> <laughs> you come back on the bridge, um, and you two are sitting there getting more power packs for the crew. Uh, when that Klingon bird of prey decloaks, there was a Klingon bird of prey. Yes, yeah, from last episode. You don't expect me to remember this shit? <laughs> oh, that's right. They were firing on Mud's ship. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now we know why. Well, unfortunately, the the poor Klingons seem to have had their own thing because the Klingon bird of prey decloaks, and then its hull visibly breaks as it has a full cabot situation, and the triples have overwhelmed it. Oh my god. Oh, bad. Beam off any survivors? What survivors? They all suffocated from the Tribbles like 10 minutes ago. Oh, God. <sighs> Grassback is away about 10,000 kilometers. How did... How did they get... Yeah, steps away at the, at the, uh, the, the hill. Did, was Mud on their ship, too? What? That's I conveniently forgot to mention? I'm shocked. Um, by this time, by the way, Talos has returned and said that there, uh, there wasn't really anything of note on Mud's thing. He seems like he's very good at covering his tracks. Logs were empty. Uh, furthermore, uh, while she did find uh, the genetic engineering station, it was literally like a hypo spray and a replicator. Oh, God. I would also instruct the lieutenant to lock the ship down and prepare it for um, for impounding. And he's like, if, if I could actually do that, that would be great. A Ferengi security system on it. it it's going to take some permutations for me to get in. Then tear out the computer core. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Can I go back to mud? Sure. We'll go back to mud. And let me get rid of the captain on this map. Neoman's left by this point, too. Okay. 
Mud! As an interesting thing just happened. Let me just discover there was nothing of value on my ship. That's also true. Um, but I have a question. Remember that bird of prey that we rescued you from? Uh, yes. King on such barbarians. Did you have any dealings with them? Do you know why they were attacking you? Because I had tribbles on board. They do that to any freighter that has tribbles. Interesting. How did they find out that you had tribbles on board? They're Klingons. They don't really care much about due process. They'll scan you for anything. Uh-huh. Do you have any idea how those tribbles got from your ship to their ship? I, I, I'm assuming when they sent a security team that my crew had to fend off, maybe? So you were boarded by this Klingon vessel? More like hassled. Uh huh. And you failed to disclose this. Why? It doesn't matter. It was resolved. Yeah, it was resolved because their entire ship just exploded because of tribbles. What? Congratulations, Mud. Murder's now on your charges. Uh, hold on a second. I cannot be held responsible for that. Technically, it's oh. manslaughter because it's some, it wasn't premeditated. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, but still. Manslaughter. Yeah, or the Klingon slaughter? I, I don't think that matters. Either way. Enough. You can't be held responsible for. Mud, are you aware of the phrase actions have consequences? Yes, but I'm usually very good at getting out of them. Hmm. Not this time. We'll see about that. Oh, I'm certain we will. I just wanted you to know that you destroyed a Klingon bird of prey with your harmless friend. Well, then they shouldn't have engaged in an illegal search and Mud, I already want to punch you. Don't make it worse. And I'm going to leave. <laughs> okay. I think this would be a good time to uh, cut to our sciencing crew. Mm -hmm. Science. No, 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 science. All right. Uh... Kagan, okay, if you're going to adjust the uh, ship's internal sensors, I need okay. you to make... We're going to do two rolls here. Okay. So the first is going to see uh, what the variances you have to make are. Okay. This first one is going to have a difficulty of three, mm -hmm. and it's going to have a sliding scale of success over that. Okay. So more successes, uh, instead of banking momentum, you will instead have... Uh, basically reduce your chances of complications on the next roll. Okay. So base difficulty of three. Uh, does then our biology focus apply here? Uh, this would be more about... Uh, I guess it would be more about si uh, sensors technology. Hmm. Okay. Is it still going to be a reason science roll, though? This will be a reason science roll for this first one. This is math thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Do you that help? case, I would love help, Doctor. Okay. <laughs> uh, and the counselor goes, and I will assist as well. All the assistance. Yes, all right. All the assistance. I, I am still going to take a die for momentum, or a momentum for a die, though. Okay. Scratch that. Reverse it. <laughs> Do you want to? No, I'm good with the one I took. That's cool. Uh, is that reason science for the doctor? Yes, it's reason science for everyone. Korea provides no assistance. Moral support. Yeah, moral support. Ineffective uh, moral support. Okay, so 
That's five successes. Five successes. All right. So as a result of that, your complication range will just be the standard 20 on this next roll. Okay. Uh, so you now know, okay, I have this variance range. Mm -hmm. uh, that that one roll of complication would be uh, you accidentally beam the captain into space if you end up beaming the rest of them out once you find them. <laughs> yeah. Worth an acceptable risk. <laughs> I mean, the captain wouldn't mind, I'm sure. It does point the, like his Ninja Warrior stuff. We are it, fighting Tribbles, after all. At this point, the captain the would actually authorize it. Glorious. <laughs> and then you're stuck with Captain Catharis. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, so reason science again? This is going to be control science on this one. Okay. So what this is representing is this is a because this technically falls under two disciplines, I'm effectively merging the roles here. Uh, okay. Control would be like your transporters locking onto them. Mm -hmm. And then the science is you actually scanning for them. Okay. And this is going to be difficulty three because you have to scan into even the places that have shielding. Right. Uh, I'm going to yeah. use my value on this one. Okay. okay. Science uh, is the way of the warrior. All right. And then, uh, Journey, I want you to... Actually, no, Baz, since you've had nothing to do tonight, you're going to roll the Cassini. Okay. And, and yes, I will allow you... Rolling what? This would be sensor science for her. Okay. <clears throat> so that should affect my difficulty, yes? That is... Yes, but since I'm effectively not doing this as like a traditional role, this is like outside of the normal purview. This is you like hot wiring the sensors to do this. Okay. All right. Well, I've got two successes from the from using my determination. Mm -hmm. And you see him using any help. Mm -hmm. One success from my roll, which is exactly what you needed. Whew. You have successfully locked on to all of the tribbles. However, at this point, I'm going to spend two threat, and the auxiliary power goes out again. Right as you finish that, but because you locked on to them, you're, I'm going to give you your bonus information now because this was technically a sensorous roll. Okay. Uh, the tribbles are what are taking out your power system. One of the Tribbles got near one of the EPS conduits. It discharged electrical power and took out the Energizer. And I know where that Tribble is. Yes. Kagon to Sahen. Sahen here. I'm sending you coordinates for a Tribble of high interest. Killing it should restore auxiliary power. Uh, I'm on it, sir. And he, before the line closes, you're going to go fucking cling on, splitting the triples for everything as he's <laughs> crawling into the Jeffrey's tube. <laughs> they better tell me of this plan, right? Did you? No, I think we're just proceeding on our own initiative at this point. I mean, when you're going to beam something out, what could possibly include me? That that you're not giving me a reason to tell you here. <laughs> <laughs> the captain doesn't know. Can't be held against. Him. I just want to know if I if I'd have a chance to grab an emergency rebreather before I potentially get beamed into space. You're tough. You can take a few seconds of it. Technically thirty seconds, but I'm <laughs> forty-five. You're an augment. Come on. <laughs> He's got a good two minutes out there. All right, after a few minutes, the second goes out. Okay, I, I pulled the triple out. I didn't kill it. Uh, but this thing seems... I saw another one in there discharging electrical power. Uh, I'm bringing this one down to you, King On. I want you to study this thing. I will, I will prepare my dissection tools. I think you might want to keep it alive first. 
The doctor is just looking at Kagon. <laughs> He's like, really? <laughs> really now? <laughs> this is where we're going, Kagon. This? We are fighting for the ship and its crew, Doctor. We cannot afford to show weakness. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't weakness. This is... This is something different. This is what drives King out the full clean on. Yeah. <laughs> this is the line. <laughs> the line must be drawn here. Yeah. <laughs> the doctor's going to get like medical scanner and everything else ready. And meanwhile, King on's lecturing in the background. And I will make the triple pay for what they have done. <laughs> Yes, yes, Kagon, yes, yes, that's fine. My <laughs> this is basically just first contact with Triple, so we move on. <laughs> we have managed to use a mud episode, a triple episode, and first contact. This is fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's at this point that Sahan walks in with the Tribble and puts it down on it in a, like a, a secured container and puts it down. No. Oh. Scan it, then kill it, please. I have to go fix the EPS conduits again. He walks right back out. <laughs> Bye, Sahan. And the doctor will pull out his tricorder and will attempt to scan, a medical scan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reason medicine. Reason medicine. Difficulty? I'm going to say this is difficulty... Three, and I know you don't have a focus. Oh, okay. Um, In this case, I'd like to assist. I'm going to say that I want you both to do just separate roles on this, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. okay. Uh, I will give you a threat for bold. Okay. And, uh, and wh what am I rolling? Uh, you're going to roll a recent science roll, and I know you have a... Okie dokie. But let's do for asks first. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, I Can I spend my daily to get rid of... to redo that? Uh, you you use both. Use the bowl. Use, use your bold. You can just reroll. Oh, it. that's right. I got bold. I gave you this. I completely forgot that I did that. Mm -hmm. So I will reroll that complication. Okay. I mean, you still don't succeed, but you're like, I have no clue what the medical reason is happening. This is some mutation to them, but I don't understand how it happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don? All Your right, turn. yes. Uh, I'm going to take a momentum mm -hmm. for an extra die. And you said I have a focus that applies here. Yes, you do. Reason science. And yes. where do we go? For All success. right. So you get your momentum back. Uh, this triple, um, you very clearly can tell, was mutated from exposure to that ion storm. And now it's absorbing energy from somewhere. And at random times, it's discharging it. And th if this has affected the entire brood because it's a mutation, you're pretty sure any of them could do this. This only Sorry. reinforces my belief that we should throw them all into the matter-antimatter reaction chamber and use them as a power source. We what kind have of... Pikachu's? Yes, we have Pikachu triples. <laughs> Yeah, sure, that works so well for the Equinox. What kind of energy are they absorbing? You have oh. to just scan for that. Uh... Well, based on our previous interactions, it's safe to assume they were absorbing energy from tricorder scans. But this trouble wasn't anywhere near a tricorder when it discharged. That's what I'm curious about. I mean, the, when I was when I scanned mud, my tricorder exploded. Mm -hmm. Probably a feedback discharge. But 
Would we have seen a feedback discharge, or would nothing happen? Just my tricorder exploded. We're gonna. You're gonna have to make a hypothesis here. Do you think it's? Do you think it's the tricorders? I think it was my bad roll, technically. <laughs> it could be any scanners. Um. Are the Tribbles giving off any kind of energy, uh, specific energy types? Whatever this energy th that they're absorbing and discharging, it's not, it's very randomized. It seems like they store it for only an instant and then they discharge. Okay. Right now, this Tribble is like a normal Tribble. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, let's. I'm at a bit of a loss. I actually don't know what to do. Well, we have another scientist here. Don, how would you like to proceed? I'm going to. Do we still have that triple in a box, basically, right? It's in a clear plastic container. Even better. Uh, I'm going to do a broad broad spectrum EM scan. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of going to kind of observe the results and see what triggers a discharge. Okay. Uh, roll it. This is going to be a difficulty one. Okay. Reason science? Yes. Focus? Actually, you know what? I'm going to say this because you're not actually doing a scan. You're doing an observation. This is a mm -hmm. daring science. Okay. Uh, um, yes, you have a focus that applies here because you are you have some physics expertise. Oh, uh, but what I don't have is any success. Mm, sorry. None of this seems to work. They do not seem to be responding to a broadband EM spectrum. Well... Failures are part of science, too. If they're not responding to EM radiation, they may respond to subspace. So I'm going to start trying subspace frequencies. Okay. Um, go ahead and do this. This is going to be a difficulty, too. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a momentum here. Probably Can the doctor do anything to assist? Does the doctor have expertise in subspace fields? I don't mean, know. No, no, he doesn't. So I would I would say that at best, Veroska is making sure that, you know, the triple doesn't prematurely expire during the course of these experiments. Oh, God. Okay. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Just make sure the, uh, yeah, just making sure the radiation isn't extreme enough to actually do harm. Just random question: Is this the only trouble left on board? No, no. Even the if red shirt wouldn't the, be for long. The red shirts are still holding them off. What? There's literally a scene of of Talus and uh, the Colonel back to back shooting down triples down a corridor. That's amazing. And the Jim Hadar is going in for for up close with the kills. Yeah, with the. The, the Katarkin. Rico, no, don't do it. It's suicide. <laughs> He's literally screaming, victory is life at the triples. <laughs> All right. So yes. here's my roll. Uh, do I have a focus, actually? I'm going to say yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll one of those zeros with cautious. Go for it. There we go. Three successes. So you gain a momentum back. It is responding to some form of subspace frequency. However, you note that it is not the ones that are typically associated with ship systems functionality. What is it associated with? I'm going to have to make have you make a roll for that one. It's something that's familiar, but just not quite getting it off the tip of your tongue. 
Not not doing it with a uh, inform obtain information spend, huh? Okay. No, this one. If it was literally anything else, I would have made it an obtain information. This one is not. Oh, no worries. Uh, I'm gonna take a momentum again here. Okay. Uh, do I still have a focus that applies? Yes. Okay. And I am re-rolling that. Okay. Four successes. Ooh. All right. So you gain Ooh, back. that was using daring. So yay. Yeah. Right. So you're up to two momentum. And it finally clicks in your head what it's reacting to. Oh my god. This thing is reacting to Omega energy. And we have an Iconian artifact on board. I fucking knew it was the fucking artifact. So... How how large is this artifact? So it's basically like a small statuette. You could probably uh, like take both your hands on top of each other. That's the full length of it. Okay. Um, I'm going to chuck it out an airlock. Okay. Iconian artifact. <laughs> He's in the shuttle bay. He just opens the back door. Basically. Space archaeologists will not forget this. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet that artifact. Uh, okay. The artifact has been yeeted. <laughs> <laughs> A phrase I never thought I'd ever fucking utter in my life. <laughs> yeah. he, he You're yoked, welcome. He yoed it right out the yeah. airlock. Well, I didn't even realize that Yeet had a past tense. It does. <laughs> I thought it was Yeeted. Nope, it's Yot. Have Yeeted. That's the that's the past perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Much Yeets were had, and before you can get back to it, there is a a brick to. <laughs> And then the sound of a blunt object being hit over the head of Of who? It's from the brig. Was the security officer in the mm -hmm. brig tried to hit contact. Oh. Was that on an open channel or was that the you guys? That was an open channel. Uh, that didn't sound good. Is um, Ari online? Uh, no, because the aux power is down. Open channel to all transporter rooms. Locked down, locked down immediately. Yeah, I'm running. Like, uh, the doctor's heading that I'm... way too. Yeah, yeah I'm assuming I've been on that deck, basically. Yeah. Uh, what about the shuttlecraft? Locked them down. Including the yacht. Or the aero shuttle. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys are running through the corridors like, oh god, there's mud. Uh... I'm actually Kato's gonna already to... in the shuttle bay. Yeah, Kato's in the shuttle bay. He's like fat less. Um, I need fitness security rolls from everyone who's trying to uh, run towards mud. Okay, I'm gonna give you a, a threat for security for a bolt. Uh, okay. Sorry, okay. Okay. Hey, I get to use my free running parkour focus. Yes, you do. <laughs> does hey, I'm assuming hand to hand combat does not apply for this? No, no, it doesn't apply for this. Can I call this combat medicine and you have a focus? <laughs> no, you can't, you can't open palm strike the triples. <laughs> yeah. uh, can I take an, an uh, dice for a momentum, please? You may. Uh, I am expending all of my threat to give each of you uh, three an increased complication range of three. Oh, well, I already rolled. Sorry. Um, one second. Uh, yeah, let me check that yeah, zero just there. check the number on the zero, yeah. Yeah, well, that, that one's a 19, so that, that yep. one's getting re-rolled. Uh, what do we have to roll? It's a two? Shit. <laughs> uh, it, it's a difficulty two. That's guy. not fair. That was a 20. You know what? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn my determination. Screw it. Fitness security. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna, just because I want to see this, I'm gonna burn my determination to do this, <laughs> and then roll. Yeah, I'm gonna burn my determination to re-roll that 20. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, you got, mm, I'm gonna, you gotta rip off an old arm to put on a new one. Okay! 
And I'm going to use harming my family as a dangerous mistake. Okay. So that's three. I got a three. Okay. <laughs> so none of you trip over triples. You all run to the various transport. Am I literally uh, running on a wall to get over a triple, like a, a yes, lot of yes, wave triples? Yes. <laughs> you, do, you do like that thing from Inception that Joseph Gordon-Levitt did, like in the hallway? There is like a more Mirror's Edge, but I'll take it. <laughs> there is literally a Matrix moment where he leaps over a pile of triples. <laughs> <laughs> but you get to all the transport rooms and mud isn't in any of them. I was going back to the brig. Oh, yeah, that's what... Okay. So, and in the brig, he's not there, and the poor security guard looks like he's just unconscious. He's not, like, terribly hurt or anything. He just was knocked out. Close to zero. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to listen for him. Uh, okay. With, with my cat ears. Okay. I'm going to run to the closest um, um, room with I... a... Um... Oh, go ahead. So... Catharis, I'm not even going to have you roll first because he's very obviously not here. Okay, then I'm going to try to rendezvous with the cap. I'm just I'm t- shouting orders into my comm badge, locking down, the, locking down the entire ship, locking down all airlocks, all transporter bays, all, all shuttlecraft. His ship has power, y'all. He probably had some sort of emergency transport device up his rectum. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, and also wants to head back to the armory where we put all of his stuff. And also the armory the that... for any... He also scanning so... the freighter for any sign of activity. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a number of things going on. Okay, first off, Journey, the armory is where Veras, where uh, Kagon is. So Ah, okay. So yeah, I will yeah, go back to join Vera, to join him. Uh there is no power signatures coming from the other ship. However, uh someone that because you, your initial order was for locking down the transporter rooms, you didn't mm-hmm. think about the cargo transporters. That would have included that. You said specifically transporter rooms. That, that's uh, kind of splitting. That's hands. semantics. Yeah, it's semantics. But it's everyone trans- is. Dude, come everyone. on! Cargo transporters would have been included in the lockout. Okay. Order. Okay. Yeah. Uh, security teams are having a firefight then with between triples and mud in one of the cargo. Okay, that I can believe. Okay. So, well, how are you guys going to handle this? This is your turn now. Well, we're running to there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Another, another fitness security check. Okay. Giving you a threat for bold. Oh, so did I give you back, was it a difficulty three for the, for the previous uh, one? Yeah, it was difficulty two. So, okay. yeah, you, you actually got another momentum. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to use it again. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Going to reroll that one. Um, our complication range is back down to normal, right? Correct. Okay. So I got two. Do I need one to make it back to Kagon? Or no, can I just do that? No, because you're not rushing or anything. Yeah. All right. I got two. It looks like Atheris got three. All right. Um. Uh, can I um, uh, transport? Uh, not transport. Uh, tractor beam. To um, mud ship. Mud ship. Without yeah, power. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, are we not running on auxiliary? No. Remember, the auxiliary power got taken out by that triple, and now it's repairing. Ah. Uh, okay. All right, so you guys uh, get into the cargo bay. Unfortunately, this is the cargo bay that's closest to the. Um, this is the cargo brig. bay that's not that's closest to the brig. It's the one that's closest to the hydroponics bay. Oh, so there's a lot of triples. There's a lot of triples, and like, it's very clearly obvious that the tide has turned in favor of the over your security team. And so they're like, "Fuck my head!" I just. Get these things off of me at this point. It's like uh, half, the, 
Half this bay is triples right now. And you see Mud literally jamming a phaser to power the cargo transporter. All right, are there any shelves that I can leap onto to get on top of the wave? Yes, but I'm going to spend a point of threat because you're, you're going to have to fight the blue barrels. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Let's do this. So what okay. does that mean? Be careful. Uh, man, those things nearly killed a Klingon. Yes. Added complication range of one. Okay. Um, daring, daring security. Oh, that's actually much better for me because I, I. So that means my complication range is what four. Yeah. Yeah. Screw it. I'm doing it. Um, giving you a threat for bold. Okay. I'm gonna spend that threat immediately and uh, make it five for you. Mm, you basically just don't want me to do this. No, I, I want you to do this. I just want this to be... He wants like, it to be hilarious. Yes, I want it to be hilarious. Like, this, <laughs> is game. this is... You are doing the thing in the very insecure cargo bay because we don't even put traps on the cargoes. Well, joke's on you. I got five. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So you see the got... Captain Billy doing a Mario jump between shelf and the wall? You just got an extra life out of that. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> he, hits, he hits one of the cargo crates and gold coins pop out. <laughs> we'll clean like that up. We have officially lost the plot, y'all. If you are watching this right now, I am so sorry. <laughs> it's a crate of it's a crate of gold press latinum. Yeah. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> And then basically just running towards mud. That was yeah. That was the ship supply of gold press latinum for trade. Yeah. yeah. Uh, since that was your turn, uh, this is him now. Go him here now hitting the auto transport on this, and he's now going to sp spend use one of his values, and he's going to make a, a roll to get the hell out of here. Uh, effectively, let's see how well this works out for him. Well, he fucking succeeds. Yeah. He, he literally hits the auto transport, dives onto the pad, and is beamed out as this phaser literally discharges into the transporter pad. I, and, I'm not I, and I'm not close enough to, to jump in there, I'm assuming. Yeah, no. And how many tribbles went with him? Uh, like three. As I see that happen, I'm going to turn and run towards the security bay. Or the cargo bay, sorry. Shuttle bay! God damn The shuttle bay? Okay. Yeah. Tap and make combat badge. Bridge, do not let that ship escape. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Uh, auxiliary power is down. Damn it. Yeah, damn I it. tried to... Um, already tried that, Captain. Uh, can we get a... Sh like, are we able... We're by the, the shuttle, shuttle bay, right? Is, there any, yeah. is the aero shuttle operational? The aero shuttle is operational. We could Graz. get in it, yes. Of course, you're Graz. on the bottom of the ship. Graz, you're the only one who can do this. <laughs> oh, All right. The shuttle. All right, what do you want me to roll? Uh, we're going to have to have you run a... Uh, you're going to have to do your own fitness test now. Okay. Come on, Graz, save the day. Uh, fitness is eight. Let's secure it. Uh, so, Jeremy... Yeah, so this this would be yeah fitness security. This one I'm gonna say is difficulty three because you have to you need to hustle down the ladder. You got momentum for? Uh, I mm, one or th one or two dice. It's your call. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get two dice. Okay. Right, so four rolls. I don't have any focus for this unless you assume close quarters combat, which no. Nope. All right. He had like marathon running. Ooh. Um. Uh, uh, let me. I I'm gonna use my value. Keep moving forward. <laughs> to well, what roll. Which value? Keep moving forward is a value. Um, okay. <laughs> wow. That's applicable as shit. That is hella applicable. And I'm just going to re-roll the two, um, because I didn't say that be before. Uh, okay. So, just one more. 
No! <laughs> so Graz gets into the into the ladder. A tr bunch of tribbles fall on him, and he falls down the ladder. At least he landed on tribbles. Yes, he landed on tribbles. <laughs> oh, that thought that doesn't hurt more. <laughs> And now they're just breeding on top of him, and it's just really embarrassing and humiliating. <laughs> and so the, but, uh, like, blows and the triple just sort of rolls off the pile. and um, Because they're literally the only person left on the bridge is the communications piloting ability, for the most part, and can't man all the stations at once while he's trying to relay orders throughout the ship with the, mm -hmm. the black comp. I just... Uh, he, no, funny, she goes, so, uh, Mud Ship just cloaked and went to warp. So, what? we lost him. God. He has a cloak? Of course yeah. he has a cloak. All right. Of course retask. he has a cloak. Retask. Kagon, we need these things off our ship now. On it, Captain. And I'm going to hop into one of the shuttlecraft and use their transporters. Same as okay. last time. Uh, can you sync up all the shuttlecraft? So, Grez I mean, will go and help with that. Um, yeah, you already can as well. Yeah. Alright, so if everyone would like to assist with that, we can totally do that. Yeah. Put a close sticker on Ember with all the shuttlecraft, and we can use all the transporters. Alright, so everyone gets into the shuttle bay. And y'all everyone click your ship. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> everyone gets gets into the shuttle bays. They get into t each of their ships. Uh, who's taking the lead on this? Uh, what's the role? Uh, this would be a control engineering role. That's typically how it rolls for uh, yeah transporters. I, 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 Graz, what's your engineering? One, but th uh, twelve oh, controls. Okay, so thirteen. I have four. I think that's going to be the best among the player characters. Yeah. Yeah, because Eris has 14 for it. All right. And everyone is allowed to assist on this. No! Hooray. I'm assuming I don't have a focus. Uh, anyone who has a transporter operations focus can do that. Why did I get rid of some of Lee's focuses? <laughs> All right, here's my Graz's assist. Is not helpful, but not a hindrance. Uh, I'm gonna give you a threat for bold. You got it. Jesus. Hey, I got it. <laughs> Oh god! Oh, no. Fucking really cool, cool. Do you cool, still cool. you still have your determination, right? Yeah, I'm gonna use my determination to reroll that complication. Which value? Reckless but caring. Yep, that's that's <laughs> absolutely appropriate right now. <clears throat> Thanks. All right. So four successes, I think. Yes, four successes, which means you actually gain a momentum back. Actually, you gained two momentum back. Sorry. All Yay. the troubles have been beamed into space. Yay! Oh, what about the captain? <laughs> and main power comes back online. Am I still on the ship? In the shuttles? Yes. Most, mostly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the molecules are missing. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been a complication roll, so... <laughs> yeah, that's why I used my determination. <laughs> but congratulations, the Tribbles have been removed from your ship. Uh, Captain? Yes, Commander? Next time we see Mud, he... No greeting, just punching. Agreed. Or fire at will. I give you permission to shove him through one of the consoles in my med bay. Ooh. Wow! Eyebrow raise. Yeah. <laughs> Someone what? has stolen the doctor's information and he is not happy. That's very unbalanced of you. 
No there's poem. a balance. He's a he's a he's a monster, and therefore I have balanced it out by reacting accordingly. So there's a balance there from a certain point of view. That's all it takes, a certain point of view. So hand, Captain. Captain here, go ahead. The ship is in one piece. Again, mostly. How much time are we looking for repairs? We're good to go to warp now, sir. Everything else is pretty minor. <sighs> Thank you for that. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Graz, if you'd like to head back to the bridge and do the honors. Uh, glad to. Though, someone's going to have to do with um, re re repair the... Uh, what, what's it? The, the hydro... Uh, the hydroponics bay. The hydroponics bay. Glad I'm not it, though. Yep, yeah, one thing at a time. Yeah, the botany team will have to replant it. Just got that hydroponics bay. Hey, Harrison? <laughs> Maybe Where give Sahan a day off tomorrow. That sounds reasonable. Oh boy. Let's everyone head back to the bridge. Alright. Be there okay. shortly. We're back up the bridge. The doctor is briefly is diverted for a few minutes because uh triple related injuries from the crew. How many? How many triples that are the the, the um that are um, the Rika slay? Uh, a, a lot. <laughs> oh, look at him! He, t he tired himself out. <laughs> but uh, eventually, he's able to rejoin. <laughs> By the way, uh, fourteen broken bones and like two dozen sprains. He's not surprised. He was expecting worse. No deaths! No deaths, but there was one person who had a triple stuck in their trachea when it was beamed away, so... Ooh. Lucky for that guy, but kind of furry now. Ooh. It's just sort of, like, yeah, probably, um... And everything out. coming out of the replicator smells like triple. Well, we're gonna be eating in the mess hall for a few days. Mm-hmm. Well, once that, uh, the... Once there's food again. Yeah, That's true. <sighs> We're going to need to restock. Didn't we just get ordered on a long distance mission? I don't... I think we left our last space dock a couple of days ago. Kagan, where's a, where's a friendly or at least neutral um, space station nearby? Some place we can um, reload. <laughs> Uh, Kagon, would you like to roll for that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Not sure uh, why he's asking me instead of his navigation officer, but I'll take I the shot. I don't know why either, so... <laughs> oh, wait, oh, I, I thought Graz didn't do navigation. Gra Graz is no. pilot in navigation, like, they have to be... Oh, a... well, then I would ask Graz. Uh, okay. So, so uh, yeah. inside or reason? Uh, reason, con. I mean, I don't mind trying to assist if there's some place <laughs> I might know about. Uh, Actually, yeah, I, I would like to assist if I can, Brian. Okay, reason con for you too. Okay, stellar cartography. Yes, I will take a nice. momentum. Alrighty, nice. And yeah. one one success for me. And uh, I don't have a focus, unfortunately. That's two. Yeah, it's two. So you do succeed. Unfortunately, that one success tells you the nearest starbase is in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's about a couple of days behind us. <sighs> All right, how's our replicator stocks? Those are fine. They're literally just going to run off of the ship's antimatter reaction. <sighs> then let's get this back to replicated food until we can restock. Button team's like, we're already planting the new seeds, okay? We appreciate you. I just... I finally got that Kobe beef I'd ordered. 
Yeah, that's gone. Damn it. Uh, also, I'm going to um, put out another wanted warrant for Starfleet and add all his new charges. Which are just the existing charges doubled over. So, oh, oh, we're adding manslaughter. We're adding possession of Iconian, um, Iconian artifacts without a, um, what are they called? License. Um, let's see. Oh, Genetic um, experimentation. Falsified um, ship transponder records. Strongly suggest we send this communique to the Klingon Empire as well. Yeah. Oh, we're sending this to the whole alliance. Excellent. Ooh. Yeah. They're all like, okay, so the seventh count of all of these charges. Yeah, but now it's just like, you know, can we put one and dead or alive on it? <laughs> no! Starfleet! Can I suggest that the Klingons put one to dead or alive on it? <laughs> you, you assume the Klingons wanted, wanted him dead. alive to be with? Yes. <laughs> they don't have an alive option. It's just dead. <laughs> Not for triple trafficking, they don't. Yeah. I mean, this this is it, it's pretty balanced. You know, the Federation wants him alive. The Klingons want him, want him dead. That's pretty. Balanced. The Romulans don't care. <laughs> oh, they will. One day they will. I mean, they don't really care if he's dead or alive, but you know, they still want him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm gonna upgrade him to someone who was was highly dangerous. What what's 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 the Almost maximum level of threat I can give him. <laughs> Do you mean the one he's already at? Because it's mud? Oh, for God's sake. If that's the case, next time we should say we should just knock him out. <laughs> tell, tell Starfleet he... Tell Starfleet he confessed to going to Talos 4. Mm. That's true. Wait, did he? No. no. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you so could, he, though. Starfleet we don't need to lie. doesn't need to know that. <laughs> the the doctor is going since he has scans of mud he is going to make a potent sedative for the moment mud ever comes back on their ship can Smart. i just say you all have earned your black badges so hard tonight <laughs> <laughs> did i and, did i really though and only two of us technically have them canonically mm-hmm. it's mud though does he really so, count yeah <laughs> where where to now? Resume course. Alright, so uh, I'll replot our course to what uh, the halfway destination. Yeah, the Maya system. And uh, do you want me to roll? No, no. Difficulty <laughs> zero. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and ship jumps to warp. But I guess we've got we've got twenty minutes. If anyone would like to have just a little private moment to follow up on this, you know what, Catharis? What? Sign me up for that fight club. Yes. I'm gonna feel the need to burn up some steam in a couple days. All right, I will do so. I. How long until shift is over? Getting pretty close to it now. Okay. Uh, I want to wait and potentially do something at the end of my shift. Okay. Uh, I, I want to do something after the shift is over as well. But uh, since um, Steph asked first, she, they can go first. No, you can go first because mine Question. is probably... What do you both want to do? And I'll make a determination. Uh, I, I, um, Graz wants to go see the counselor. Ooh. Steph? Katharis wants to talk to Ariel. All right, we can actually do the Ariel one really quickly, I think. Okay. Uh, Commander, how are you doing today? I'm good. And you can call me by my name if you. Uh, forgive me, I am uh, processing multiple repair processes at the moment, and I am in a very work mindset, Catharis. That's. 
I will say that being offline for most of the day due to a trip infestation has not been a high point. No, we were doing the best we could. I can only imagine. And I really wish I wouldn't. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to check in and make sure everything was all right, especially after. T- it has been an unusual several weeks. I am still processing these events. Well, if you ever need anyone to talk to, you know I'm here. I am aware, Katharis, and I will contact you when I feel it is appropriate. For the moment, I am enjoying my solitude and my work. All right. Is there anything I can do for you to make anything smoother? At the moment, I cannot consider a process that I require streamlining. Maybe we'll discuss that in the future. All right. That sounds good. And I will head off and relax for the rest of the evening. All right. Uh, unfortunately, you do get to your room and you discover that the triples did get into your whiskey stash. It's not there anymore. I was forced to get rid of it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> yep. No, they ate my chips, though. Mm-hmm. Bastard. Just look, see, like, the strewn chip, like, bags everywhere. It's just, oh. There will be no nachos on this ship. <laughs> Travel! Mendoza! <laughs> All right, now we're switching over to your, your counseling session, Lieutenant. As. Sorry, I muted myself. <laughs> of course you So did. I noticed. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> uh, so it, it's 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 sort of it's not actually an official counseling session. He's just going going there. Um, like like oh, oh, on the spur of a moment, kind of thing. So you just uh, like walk into her office, basically. Yeah. Ah, Lieutenant, what can I do for you? I just uh, want to see how you're doing. Uh, this crew can be difficult to get to get to know. Well, I think it's going to be quite easy to get to know them. I just scheduled 25 separate cases of triple-related traumas that I have to diagnose. Uh, well, I was... Those, I was more talking about the more senior stuff. If I can figure out how to deal with most of the senior staff, well, let's just say that it'll be uh, quite a feather in my cap. I didn't really like the idea myself of seeing a counselor. I believe you once used the term mind diddler to describe me. (laughs) Oh my. Um. Maybe, uh, but, uh, well, I suppose what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that, well, for me anyway, I just needed to figure myself out and the best best way to do that was was to me to get to know myself again so I needed to to spend time with myself it's nothing particularly against you or any of your profession but uh, I understand Graz, it's completely normal. You didn't know who you were. You had to rediscover that. And to be honest, 
I'm glad that you had that opportunity and you took it. I almost didn't, you know. I know. I was I was debating whether or not to 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 reach out to my father again. And then he did it for you anyways. I don't know what would have happened if he didn't. Oh, uh, your life would have probably taken a different path. Mm, and uh, well, I suppose I would 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 have been a different person again. Um, having a connection outside of the ship just just sort of grounded me, I guess. Just sort of gave me a a, a new perspective rather than just you know the work work part of it it widened your world view i think that it was probably the most healthy thing that happened to you because i think that other grass would have been a very lonely person and perhaps a bit more of an angry one i guess well, we don't need that around here. We got enough. Yeah, Catharis is angry enough for all of us right now. Uh, that's one way to put it, that's for sure. Well, um, welcome aboard. Um, I think it's good to be back. And uh, Graz will just sort of smile and nod and just uh, leave without saying anything else. All right. Anyone else got something before we call it a night? Uh, the doctor does. All right. Uh, towards the end of his shift, he is uh, once he's exited all the people from the med bay, mm -hmm. he is going to start a draft to a letter for Starfleet. All right. Um, before I set up the scene, can I get an idea of what this draft is going to be about? The letter, is, it's going to be about thanking them for their offer. And while he's very touched that they considered doing this for him, he is going to decline their offer to join Starfleet. Ooh, Unfortunately, okay. you decided to go with other avenues at this time. <laughs> <laughs> he has the utmost respect for Starfleet and what they stand for, but <laughs> that is just not a path that he thinks is for him currently. Okay. So, writing this up, saying, no, thank you, I'm not interested. In the most polite, neutral term ever. Gotcha. So basically every job rejection letter, letter ever. <laughs> Even more so because the balance will be mentioned a few times here or there. So, okay. You know, I actually want to do something for you. Mm -hmm. You are about 75% through writing this letter when you actually get a written transmission. And it is from the Deferi government. Oh, okay. Uh, he'll pause typing and he'll look at it confused. That's unusual. So, they haven't responded to any of my questions. So, basically, the letter reads Dear Dr. Verask, a bunch of flowery bullshit that you know you usually get on these kinds of letters that open it. And then a polite request to please cease communications with your government, given the criminal nature of your ex. The what? Yep. The, uh, no, you literally cut off at the last word. I heard oh, criminal. Criminal nature of your exile. Did I cut off again? 
No, I'm. Um, mm. the, uh, he's gonna stare at it. <laughs> and included is actually like a record of what happened. Oh, he's he's totally clicking on this. He wants he's reading this. Um, so Doctor Farask was exiled for murder for performing for uh, euthanizing a patient who wished to die which is the highest violation of the fairy ethics. All of a sudden, I hate the fairy. Mm -hmm. He is going to stare at this. And he's going to look back at his letter to Starfleet. And he's just going to delete the whole thing and then quietly excuse himself from the med bay. And I don't think we can top this ending tonight, so I feel like that's where we're going to end until we come back next year. You have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye. You know, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Happy holidays. Have, have a good a good few winter months and next week we come back with valkyrie and ted being um overwhelmed with dolphinian royals we'll with find out what happens <laughs> uh, and, and and of course uh, all the mischief that the rest of the valkyrie crew get up to oh, god these people <laughs> all right good night everyone